Welcome, everybody, to this episode of Talking Indies in My Undies. My name is Jacob, and I'll be your host. So today I'm going to start off with an opinion, an idea, a something that I noticed that's kind of a, a pet peeve of mine that happens fairly regularly. And sometimes the words that we say and the way that we describe our work is not completely accurate. And I think I'm in the minority on this opinion, and I'm okay with that. Um, for me, this is an important distinction, and let me let me explain quickly what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you're in, let's say you're in a band, right? When you are talking to someone else and you say, this is my band, that guy over there is my bass player, or let's say you're making a movie, right? This is my new movie. You know, these are my actors. My actors did a great job in my movie. What you're implying is a sense of ownership over other people and diminishing their role in the work. Now, granted, you know, you may be a musician who records all the music yourself, or you may be a filmmaker who shoots it, writes it, who drags it, who edits it, does all the lights, records the sound yourself. You're a one man band. But what you're doing is you're really diminishing the roles of the other people around you. Now, is this a bad thing? I don't know. I'll be honest when I say that to me, it is a little bit annoying to hear. It's always been that way for about 10 years. I remember about 10 years ago, I was in a little rock and roll band <laughs> and I was playing an instrument and, um, and I was singing and there, and this guy comes up and he's, you know, this is my singer in my band. And I remember hearing that and just being kind of turned off by it. You know, I remember um, working on a short film once uh, in which I was not the leader on the team. I was just kind of helping out another guy. And he constantly were saying things like, you know, my movie, my, 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 mine. And saying that these are my actors or my crew. And I just remember being like, man, I don't, I don't want to be on your stupid fucking team now. <laughs> like, wh why would you claim this sense of ownership over me? You're not paying me. I thought I was a collaborator on this thing that we are doing together. And I think that's a very, very, very important distinction to the psychology of the, the team that you're a part of in order to create a, a piece of work. It's just a thought that I had and, and something that I think that maybe if we were a bit more mindful of it, it may imply a, a certain difference to the, the working dynamic of the group, even if it's on kind of a very subtle level. So it's something that I challenge anyone who's uh, making a movie or who's in a band or, you know, who's doing something that takes a team to create is to be mindful of that. You know, the, the my's and the me and the I. I think that people should, you know, think about using words like we and us and ours. Just, just a thought, because I'll be honest with you, I will not be on a fucking team when someone calls me one of their actors, or this is my bass player. I say, go fuck yourself, I'll start my own team, you know, because that's just silly. And, and, and that does come across as prideful on my part, that I, I don't want to be underneath the thumb of someone else. But let's also be real here, guys. You know, you're not paying anybody, you know, we're, we're directors for a week at most, directors for a day, directors for a, you know, or whatever. We need to like really just be cool because there's something that happens, I think, that when you, you look at Hollywood movies and you look at the way things are done or these big rock and roll bands and you, and you hear the language that they use, we somehow just kind of adopt that language because we think that's the way that it actually needs to be because that's the way it's always been. When the reality is the great directors always acknowledge actors as being collaborators. But that's just been bugging me. I don't know. It just occurred to me today. And uh, something that I think that we should be uh, thinking about as we move forward with the projects that we are working on. So today's episode is going to be awesome. We have a cool conversation coming up with a guy named Gabriel Crutchfield. Now, Gabriel started coming out to these uh, timed film festival competition things a couple years ago. I guess he's probably done maybe four, three or four or five um, shorts in that amount of time. And it was really cool to be able to uh, chat with him about his growth um, through these experiences and also his motivations. He's, he's interested in this concept of a multimedia storytelling in which these games or little stories and hints are explained through you know, the internet 
and through movies and through, you know, little whatever, little writings, but they all give clues to this larger story, which I think is a fascinating idea. So this is a fun episode, and I uh, hope you all enjoy it. Without further ado, here is Gabriel Crutchfield on Talking Indies in My Undies.